when it comes to health, so I think some of the issues, just like alopecia, we say that balding. Mm -hmm. um, there are also people with dandruff issues. There are people who have like split end issues or uh, maybe even dry scalp. These are also some things that a lot, generically, a lot of people have these little issues. And for me, like I have color treated hair. Mm. So that little bit, I can also share how colored, how my color treated hair, I always thought that ruby cell shampoo and treatment will not suit me, but how it has eventually helped me as well, which I just started recently, okay? So um, for a start, I think a lot of you will know that the generic kind of commercial shampoos that we find out there, a lot of them will also promise soft, silky hair, okay? But um, I think some will have realized also that a lot of these commercial products actually contains paraben and silicon. The silicon in the oh, hair yes. are the ones that give you that very silky hair. You feel the softness for long time use, but in the end, you realize that the this con this this um these ingredients are actually synthetic. So, which means to say, in the long run, your natural hair oils are actually being stripped. You know, the natural hair oil actually protects your hair are actually being stripped. So it will eventually also over long run use cause some some form of hair loss because these are all the artificial ingredients. Mm. As compared to ruby cell, most of our ingredients are natural ingredients. Even the oils in the the oils in the shampoo and in the uh, conditioner uh, in the treatment oil, the treatment is also naturally formulated. But not only that, I think the most important thing about our product is basically the human stem cell protein extract as well. Okay. So for those of you who don't know anything about our, our ruby cell products, every product contains human stem cell protein extract. Okay, okay that is our star, our star ingredient as well. Okay. It's basically our patented ingredient yeah. that other, other generic commercial products have which don't have which we have. Exactly. Right? exactly. Just, 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 just to share a little bit about my testimony, okay. Um, you know, how, how did I actually come across this product was just last year. Um, much okay in, in KL so what happened at the point of time I was uh, losing quite a bit of hair okay I think my wife and, and some of them can actually some of my friends can actually see I have a receding hairline over here inside okay but take a look at my hair right now it's because of the shampoo okay because of the treatment um, and the tonic I'm able to save my hair okay um, what I can say about the hair set is that it's not 100% guaranteed that everybody will definitely grow hair. It really depends on the follicles that you have currently, okay? If you, are, you are already you have a shiny, nice, bald head, okay, I will not guarantee that you will, you will grow hair to become like mine. But what I'm trying to say is that if you are at a stage of just starting to lose hair, this product will be extremely, extremely effective, okay? All right, Ivy, so you can talk about the, the, the ingredients. Okay. So, okay, then we look at the product itself. The product itself um, is, okay, we start with the shampoo. So just now as we were saying, our shampoo is formulated with all the natural ingredients. This will allow us to have longer, long-lasting healthy hair. And uh, if you look at the ingredients as listed, like what you see in this slide, okay, it contains yamotil extract. Okay, yamotil extract comes from this um, esojo, which is actually a plant. This plant effectively helps to detox the, the like for body system, it helps to detox. For hair, it actually helps also to oil control, okay, to actually nourish your hair from the roots all the way to the ends, okay? And if you see green tea extract, which is common in some of the hair products that you see commercially outside, green tea extract is known to support the hair growth and also regrowth capabilities. Mm. So it improves actually the circulation in your hormones that improves the blood flow. In that sense, it helps to fight also the dryness and of the scalp. And you know, when it comes to dry scalp, it's very inevitable that you know, the dryness will actually cause your scalp to flake and that is like dandruff. Dandruff is also one of the main reasons Okay, a lot of people have this problem is because of the chemicals we use. Like for colored hair, we are exposed to a lot of um, a lot of chemicals. Even like perming hair, I think most girls rather may have this issue because we want to have different colors, and then you want to have different waves, different looks, and all this. And a lot of the chemical use actually may also cause dandruff. Even recent fruit acid coloring and all this thing, the pH balance is not there. When you have green tea extracts, it helps to fight off the dryness caused by the chemicals. Okay, and um, next we also have um, leaflet extract. This also helps to hydrate. In terms of um, particularly the hair follicles, each hair follicles needs the kind of hydration because dry hair eventually will have that, that um, a very dull appearance. Like over time, you realize some shampoos, if you use in the long run, 
you don't get that shine because the ingredients like we have ingredients like leaflet extract is because it allows you to it helps to slowly build the shininess because it gives you the moisture so your hair actually feels softer naturally and also naturally have that sheen okay yeah and uh, olive oil. Some may also say, oh yeah, but if, if not, if it's oil, would that make my hair oily? I think a lot of people also have issues about having oily hair or oily scalp. Our olive oil are natural olive oil. So it helps to moisturize your hair. It reduces the scalp, um, scalp irritation. Okay, and um, the hair cell also, like I said, even to free radicals in the environment, even sun rays and all, there is a lot of damage in hair cell itself on a day-to-day -day basis. It's quite inevitable. We are easily exposed to that, but the olive oil in our shampoo helps to actually protect the hair, like the hair from the damages and also conditions the hair follicles. Okay, and um, another part of it is we have this Indian frankincense extract. Okay, this also helps to promote healthy scalp. Okay, how it promotes the healthy scalp is because the extract itself has this uh, chemical compound. Uh, okay, our body actually produces this chemical compound called the alpha 5 reductase. This alpha five reductase that we naturally produce, right? Okay, a well actually one of the main cause for hair loss. So some may be genetic, some may be because of exposure, like what we said earlier to chemicals and all. The the Indian frankincense extract will help you to improve like dandruff condition because together with other ingredients, it makes the scalp less drying and it also makes your hair shinier. Yeah, I mean. Okay? I don't know. So maybe the Indian frankincense uh, extract actually has one very good properties, right? Which is basically to reduce inflammation on your scalp. The reason why we actually, a lot of us actually drop hair, okay, is because our scalp is Okay, so the reason why some of us keep on dropping hair and things like that, because uh, the scalp is always inflamed, the scalp is not clean, you know, your follicle is always blocked with hair care products. Like me, when I was uh, filming in, in Singapore, right, uh, I, I was starting to lose hair it's because I used a lot of hairspray and things like that. So after that, I didn't, when I reached home, sometimes I was too tired from filming, I just go, go to sleep. Okay, and the next day, you can see there's a lot of pimples and things like that on the scalp. Okay, so cleansing your personal hygiene, okay, before adding the nutrients, uh, like the shampoo, the treatment, the tonic, all these are very important, okay? Keeping your scalp clean first, okay? That will help you prevent the hair loss, all right? Okay, so next we're going to talk about the, uh, the treatment. All right, Abby, you got anything else to add for the shampoo? Anything, anybody have anything so far to, to ask? Are we all good? Yeah. How about the feel? I, Abby, are you using a shampoo as well? Okay. I just colored my hair yesterday. Yeah? Ah. So I have not. But previously, before I colored my hair, because I knew the color were all losing, so I have been using color treated shampoo. Mm. So what happened is that color treated shampoo tend to also be very drying to my hair follicles. Mm. And I had this issue which I never really quite had is my hair all get knotted, it tangles out very easily because it's dry. Even the color treatment that I'm using also doesn't seem to give me that same softness. So I decided between choosing to maintain color versus the health of my hair, mm. I decided that never mind the color is quite gone. So I started using the shampoo about two weeks back. Okay. And um, okay, it's easy to lather. And surprisingly, like for me, I need a shampoo that gives me the squeaky clean feeling. If not, I cannot. I, I, I always feel like there's some traces of sliminess of you, products you, that's you being left in the hair or the grease. Right. So this shampoo actually really, really cleans very well. And what happens is no matter, I can go comb hair one. I can be very lazy. I say, even if I don't comb after sleeping, even when you wake up, the hair actually very smooth, very soft. The yeah. finger can run through, run through until I make sure my hand don't have cream, don't have oil, or after cooking because I rest get little, you know, get dirty or something. Yeah, but it is actually very easy, you know, to run your fingers through your hair because you can really feel the natural softness. Great. Yeah. Great. Thanks for sharing. Coach mm. Mike, uh, Coach Mike also said the shampoo can do bubble mask and leave on scalp a few minutes for those who finish their, their auto soap. Okay, yeah, um, we did not show the auto soap today because today is about the for you hair care, okay? But uh, basically, yes, uh, what I do as a daily regime is that I use an auto soap to actually do a mask on my scalp first because the auto soap is pretty drying, but it's excellent for deep cleansing of your scalp. So that's one of, that's my first step every day, auto soap first. After that, you can do the shampoo, all right? Okay. Okay, so the next one, I'm talking about the hair treatment. 
Okay, the hair treatment, how we use the ruby cell intensive for you hair treatment, like you can use it, it's pretty much like a conditioner. Okay, the only difference that we're looking at between the regular conditioner and our hair treatment. Most conditioner, we always say it treats your hair, your follicles, but never use it on the scalp. What's so special about hair treatment? Our hair treatment can, is applicable on the scalp. However, it's, we don't recommend it for daily use, maybe about two to three times a week. Okay, the hair treatment itself um, is very enriched with argan oil. Maybe I digress a little bit. Yes. Sure. Argan oil sounds is, is something that is used recently. If you notice a lot of new products use argan oil. Argan oil is um okay, it is rich enough, okay, even though it contains a treatment, but it doesn't affect our scalp as it will not cause your scalp to be very oily because it doesn't penetrate fully. This oil itself is can be used, but it doesn't go all the way to cause it, it moisturizes, but it doesn't make your scalp oily. Okay, how argan oil is being derived? The whole process of getting the oil, interestingly, like say I digress, I went to read out a little bit and it's actually obtained from the kernels of the um, argan tree. So it has the fruits itself. The fruit itself is actually rich in vitamins. It's rich in minerals and antioxidants. What it does to our hair is it increases our hair's elasticity and uh, it also consistently restores the shine. You know, and otherwise, it could have been over time dull and lifeless. Okay, this argan, use of argan oil is actually uh, not, not something that's new. It has been, uh, historically, I would say, even in the long, long medieval times, it's an age-old beauty secret to hydrate and soften our hair. It helps to also smoothen frays. So those with like split ends or very dry hair ends, you know, the argan oil helps to seal the ends. It prevents it from splitting. And this also helps to, the argan oil also actually helps to reduce scalp inflammation and also helps to reduce the dandruff. Yeah, as, as like a scalp's hair moisturizer, the use of having argan oil in our treatment actually increases blood circulation of the scalp. So it allows our scalp to actually absorb and transfer the nutrients better into the scalp and both into the hair. Okay, and if you say argan oil, I think we have people from the middle, middle East, I think um, closer maybe, okay, my geography is very bad, but argan oil I think originally came out from Morocco. Mm. Okay, predominantly, in, in, before it was in being exposed internationally, it is something that is used on very high-end cosmetic product. So what we found out was that argan oil is expensive, you know. Mm -hmm. okay, and then compared to the price that we are paying out, the use of argan yeah, oil yeah, 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 yeah. is as high as like, what, $300 per liter. And to get that one liter, you probably need a lot of fruits. You probably need like 40 kilo of the fruit because from the fruit, they have to remove remove the fruit skin before they get to the, the, the kernel of it itself. Then they have to peel. All, all these are very, very manual manpower in the start. Then the nut has to be cracked. It's not like your almond just take the machine. Either the cracking process itself is also a very manual difficult task and to retrieve the rich oil inside. Okay, there's a certain technique. So not that you can just like almond just grind it and then you get the oil of it. No. So in order just for one liter, you need about 40 kilo of this fruit. Okay, and if just the nut alone minus the outer layer that you peel out, you need about at least like 20 kilo of the nut itself. Now, of course, with technology, it's probably easier to process and get argan oil out because we are using maybe machinery these days. But nonetheless, you can see that the economic and the health benefits of argan oil has been so useful that, you know, it's very much sought after internationally. Okay, and we have this comparing to the kind of price you're looking. I think we are lucky to say that well, for the price that we're paying, later we go through the price. This is a 500 ml bottle of our rupee cell hair treatment. Mm. For a rep member's price, we're only paying 60 plus in dollars. Mm. I think it's, it's pretty worthwhile, okay? Very worthwhile. Well. Um, okay, then we look at the ingredients. Similarly, we also have in the shampoo that is olive oil. Same thing, how it actually protects your skin. Your, uh, your hair actually to moisturize your hair, reduce scalp inflammation. It nourishes and conditions your hair follicles. Mm -hmm. uh, some other ingredients are like uh, chameleon oil. Chameleon oil makes your hair more manageable. I believe when I use this, why I say more manageable is because you don't get knotted hair. Okay, it feels shiny, it feels bright. I mean, as in, you know, you can really feel how the shine it, it is it's actually so called a hair glow. Okay, and it helps to prevent um, split ends and breakage. So, for those with dry scalp as well, because like I said, this treatment can be used on your hair scalp. So for those with dry scalp, it actually helps to relieve the dryness and then dry scalp usually associated with white itchiness. 
if it's dry, you feel it just like our skin. When it's dry, you tend to want to scratch. So the use of um, having chamomile, uh, chamomile oil in our treatment oil actually helps to ease the dry scalp and itchiness. And at the same time, when you don't have dry scalp, also it helps to prevent and dry. Okay. And same thing, we also have the, uh, the esotio extract. So similarly, your hair ends the smooth helps to smooth off the strays and the fray and the fleece. So for those who have frizzy hair, if you notice, even if you want to try half of the head by using this treatment, the frizziness has been tamed down quite significantly even after one use. Okay, it also helps to control your scalp sebum. That's why it is good because it doesn't create more oils, but it controls the oil production and helps to tighten your hair. We say the pores, or I say hair for that's actually tightened. Maybe always hearing tighten. Okay, we also have green tea extract in our treatment, um, our hair treatment. And uh, I don't know whether if I mentioned earlier, I forgot what I said, but green tea extract, actually studies have shown that green tea extract does help to support hair growth. Okay, it helps to, it, because of the, the hormonal um, in circulation, the blood circulation, that helps to improve the circulation for the hormones and the blood flow. Helps to fight the dryness and then also the dandruff that's caused by chemicals. Okay. The ingredients, I think, if you look at it, it's quite similar to the shampoo as well because we also have the Indian frankincense extract. What we're saying that just now, it also helps to reduce inflammation, all right? So same thing, it inhibits the body's production of, just now as you mentioned, of the chemical compound that's causing hair loss. So having both this, we know that as a combination itself, these two products, even the shampoo alone, or used on its own, or even the treatment used on its own, can actually help you to improve your hair and scalp condition. Okay, for, for treatment, um, if, if you want to do it, um, it's a wash off, so you, I would suggest you all to, let me, it's like if you want to do, it can be two to three times a day. Like those with oily scalp, I would say try not to use it on a daily basis. Yeah, if you want to use it, then you try not to touch your scalp so much. Uh, mm -hmm. If your hair ends, that's fine. That's fine. You can do it daily. That's fine. Right? Um, also, just for me to share, because I'm using this every day for almost a year plus already, um, the shampoo, when you use the shampoo, right, to some people, you might feel that it's a little bit dry. It's a little bit dry, okay? Uh, so my wife didn't, don't really uh, use the shampoo so much, but she loves this treatment. She loves it so much, okay? Because it, it, just like what Coach V says, right, it gives a very, very uh, nice shine. Not only that, your hair will not, uh, will not tangle at all. Okay, it basically is going to be really, really smooth after that. So you can feel there's a coat, an extra coat of oil. Not those kind of oily oil, but those kind of extra coat of uh, protection on your scalp, on your, your hair strand. Okay, so um, like I said, if you use it every day for your hair treatment, you will feel that, hey, the coat is getting thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker. Okay, so for those of you who don't like it, uh, because the more you use, right, it will become more laxed. You become more and more laxed, right? So you, if you use it maybe twice to three times a week, I think it will be just nice. Okay, and answering Justin, Justin's uh, question, can this be used on kids? Um, yes, definitely can. But do take note um, to see whether does your kid have eczema first. Okay, you got to see whether your kid has eczema. If have, then I suggest not to use the For You series, but use the, uh, the, the Ato Soap, more of the Ato Soap. All right, okay. So far, any, anyone got any questions about the hair treatment? Okay, we'll be sharing about the pricing uh, later. It's very, very affordable. It's pretty worthwhile. Uh, like, like the shampoo, this hair treatment contains a 1% human stem cell protein extract. Okay? Okay? So, Coach V? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's do the next one. My favorite of all time. <laughs> okay. Yes, favorite of all time. Okay, I mean this one. If you see on its own, yeah, everything sounds like a lot of oils. I'll say I won't go through. I think some of the very key. There's a lot of the about eleven key essential oils. We go through because this one is actually quite um. You compare to all our Atora and our Ruby Cell range, huh? Every item has one percent stem cell extract. Our MPU has got five percent for both our Atora and our Ruby Cell. MPU has got five percent stem cell extract. Our Ruby Intensive Cream also got 5%. And this is the other one that, you know, have more than the rest of the product. This one contains 3% stem cell protein extract. Okay, for the tonic. 
So it helps actually, this will be used usually after your treatment, which is very necessary for your, for to optimize the condition of your, your scalp and also good for the growth of hair. Okay, like we have lavender, okay, not something that we don't have earlier in our two other products. This one has got lavender oil, scientifically proven to stimulate the hair growth and soothe itchiness. Okay, it helps in the problem because it has properties that, that generate cell growth. When the cell, when the cell is able to regenerate, that is where how your hair is actually growing because you also have antimicrobial, antibacterial properties. So these are the things that prevent any uh, toxic attacks to your hair. It helps to improve the hair scalp condition. Okay, we also have things like um, olive oil. Um, olive oil we have uh, olive fruit oil. Okay, because it locks in the keratin of your hair. It also has like lemon, lemongrass oil, for example. Okay, lemongrass is known to be useful as a dandruff treatment because it can significantly bring down the flaky um, act activation or the irritation from the scalp due to dryness. Okay, and the, also the clary sage oil, this helps to fortify the hair follicles to improve the strength. So it is harder for any breakage and uh, when the hair grows, because new hair grows, sometimes you may say it's brand new, so it may be... <sighs> As the hair grows longer, it needs more, it, it will probably strengthen. So you need clary sage oil as one of these ingredients to make it harder to break. Okay? So the rest, I think, is very typical of what we can find in our um, in tonic. How this tonic helps. Actually, to be honest, we are facing, if I'm wrong, we are probably facing out this tonic, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, mm. Correct. So what is happening, right, is uh, just to let you guys know, um, our company is stopping the production of this intensive for you scalp power tonic okay in malaysia and singapore we have only left about 1200 pieces the reason why we stop is not because it's no good okay it's because um, based on our studies and uh, testimonies from our customers just by just using the shampoo and the treatment we are able to grow hair without the tonic so what the what the company is trying to do is to actually help our customers yep so by just purchasing the shampoo and the treatment you're able to grow hair really Okay, but to me, because I'm a bit more kiasu, kiasu in Singaporean terms means I scared to lose, right? So a bit more kiasu, so I use the tonic a lot, quite a bit, right? So you guys can actually try it because this power tonic actually has some protein extract inside. So that's why I, I like this product a lot. It works. It really really works for me. So I think the question like for people who are already bought, whether the tonic is gonna help them grow hair. I, oh. I think it. It depends also whether your hair follicles are still alive or dead. For people, maybe, you know, over time, they have not been doing anything about it. If the hair follicles dead, I think Sietan, even you will have some magical potion also, nothing much can be done, right? Uh, uh, that's true, that's true, that's yeah. true. And another thing, another thing I want to add is, uh, is that depends on what is the condition of this problem. Is it just a normal alopecia? Um, today, I think Grace is here. Grace, Grace, are you, are you here? Yes, yes, I'm here. Can I spotlight you? Can I spotlight you? So, so what happened is Grace, right? Grace yeah. uh, is a very good example of uh, having alopecia problem. And then after that, she just have to use the shampoo and the treatment. Right, Grace, maybe you want to share with everybody what is your process of, of growing your hair. The real life example of growing hair. <laughs> Yeah, um, I had alopecia before, so after I gave birth, and then I started to drop a lot of hair, and then um, it got so bad that I started to have a ball patch. Mm. So the ball patch, they, they call that alopecia, like basically it's just balding. Yes. Then I was very scared because I was dropping a lot more hair than the hair can grow. Mm. So that was when I started to use the shampoo and the treatment. But I also spray a bit of the the etherap, the green and pale. Hmm. Yeah, but I did that only like a few times only at the start when it was really balding. Then I used the shampoo and treatment alternate days. Hmm. So I just kept doing that for like three to four months and then the, the baby hair really grew a lot faster. Hmm. So now my hair is so thick because it's been one year already. <laughs> so it's so thick that I, I can't even tie my hair using my old hair clip. Then my my friends also say my hair very shiny <laughs> and then they, uh, my hair also looks very thick but that's because I also have baby hair so the treatment really helps because my if 
I don't use the treatment, the my hair gets very tangled up. Mm. And then uh, there's a lot of knots and all. So I cannot use any normal conditioner anymore. I can only use the treatment. So it's really my favorite product. So the, it's the best. Uh, I mean, it works for me. Nah. I, I cannot switch to any on-the-shelf conditioner already. Great, great. Thanks for sharing, yeah. Grace. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't pay Grace today uh, to, to say this. Uh. This one <laughs> paid because she really loves the product, okay? Grace is my, one of my very good family friends in Singapore. Yeah, so after, like she said, after she switched to a product, right? Definitely, because it works for you, you will not change the product, just like it works for me. Once I start to hair, grow hair, do you think I'll really change the other product? The answer is no, right? So, uh, it's, it's very good for you guys to actually understand the product today and introduce to those people who, who really have hair problems, okay? At least ask them to give, give it a try, okay? And some people will ask, what is the, the time period that they will actually see the effect, okay? If they're expecting within one week, you must be kidding, okay? Hair growth is not like a face, uh. it's not like face lifting. Hair growth, you need at least a 28-day cycle to actually see the baby hair grow out first. And then from baby hair, you will transit into the, the adult hair and things like that, okay? All right, so um, let me see. It, let's see, we have other questions. Okay, doing call, okay, daily auto soap tonic treatment twice a week. Okay, yes, yes. Uh, Ken, okay. Felicia calls him to me. I never switch. Okay, good. Audrey, I'm losing hair, so want to find out more. Okay, Ken, Ken Chung. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. Talking, so, all right. Okay. Any anything else to add, um, Coach B, for the tonic? Anything else? No. Okay. 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 Let's do this next one. Okay. okay. Then, uh, just just to repeat again, uh, the tonic. We have already stopped production in Korea. So right now we only have left with around 1,200 pieces in Malaysia and Singapore. Korea already, there's, it's already cut already. Okay, so for those of you who want to get it, you can still get it right now. The PV is, is to me, is the highest. Very attractive PV, yes. <laughs> so we are going into this right now. All right. Okay, so yeah. Okay, we look at the, the prices. Huh? Okay, very different, of course, in Singapore, or I think um, if you want to buy, you can buy the shampoo alone, you can buy treatment hair, you can buy these three items on its own, retail. Okay, you buy a member's price, you can sell at retail. Um, currently in Singapore, we took back, okay, it was pushed back again. We used to have this uh, main attraction promotion since like what, Mother's Day, then yep. Father's Day, and then we stopped, right? I think we extended it for a while and then it stopped, but it was quite popular. So now we brought it back. Okay, for this one, basically you get like one, one shampoo, okay, one um, hair treatment, one tonic, and then one soap. And then throw in free is the foam maker. Okay, whereas for, um, if not, then usually how you want to recommend, your, I mean, depending on the, your, your customers, if they are willing to give it a try, then ideally I would say recommend this promo set because this promo set, I don't think it will be there for a very long time. Mm. I say if tonic is limited stocks, I think it's also a false stop last thing. If you no longer have, we no longer have this, this. Then you have to package on your own. Maybe you do a hair and shampoo treatment set. Okay, hair and shampoo treatment sets where I have. But in Malaysia, I think in Malaysia is very different. Malaysia, they either buy the shampoo and treatment together. They don't sell singly. You cannot buy shampoo without treatment. You cannot buy treatment without shampoo. Okay, mm. you have to buy as a two-piece set or you buy as a three-piece set with the tonic. Okay, right okay. now... Uh, sorry, right now, just let me add because there is a new update in Malaysia. We actually have the we are able to sell the shampoo by itself for now oh. because we have extra we have extra pieces of shampoo just only for a short period of time. After that, we will revert back to the, 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 the set again. Okay, Malaysia members, please take note. Okay? okay, so for Singapore, no problem. You can buy the 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 items individually. Okay, just go to Afro Mall and you are able to, to see it. Okay, so um, also just to add about um, retailing this thing online. Okay, because I, what, what happened was just last month uh, when I started to show the process on Instagram, oh, a lot of people actually bought the, the product from me. Okay, what, what happened is they, they will start asking questions and things like that. Okay, then um, basically your member price is $68 for Singapore. Okay, and then how much are you going to, supposed to sell? So that's why we have this retail proposed retail price of $83. Okay, so only members are able to get it at $68. Then when you sell, you, you sell at at least $83. Okay, whether you want to give an extra foam maker, you want to give an extra mesh net, up to you. Okay, if you want to fight off the competition, you can give extra things, free delivery, whatever. 
Okay. But importantly, you can see what is the what is the retail profit margin. Okay. The retail profit margin is actually quite attractive for the hair set. Okay. So for those of you who are interested to go onto Lazada and Shopee to actually do your your online retailing, you can actually consider this. All right. Especially the tonic. The tonic. The the margin is actually one of the highest. Okay, member price is 109, retail is 36. It's actually pretty, pretty good. All right. Okay. Okay, so I think you all can see, right? So depending on how you want to package it, so the PV, if you look at a two-piece, let's say you're looking at shampoo and treatment, okay, you add up together, that's about like 45,500 EV if you sell shampoo and treatment alone. Okay, both are at 68, but retailing will be shampoo at 83 sing dollars and then at 880 um, for the treatment. Okay, um, retail, if individual item, I'm not too sure, but in Malaysia as a set itself, you are actually getting a member's price for two items, shampoo and uh, treatment for 350 ringgit, and then you retail at 432. Okay, and then if you were to do a three piece, let's say shampoo, treatment and tonic, all in all, that will, a set itself will will be if you look at the total itself, then you'll be looking at plus another 109. So it's almost similar to this other set that we're selling, except minus the, the soap price. The PV is for the tonic alone is 56. So you add up if you sell it as a set, three piece, it's 101,500 101, PV. Yep. So four set is almost as good as as an agent set, yep. the PV that you're getting. Okay, very high. Okay? Anyone yeah. here is who are not members yet? who don't understand what a PV is, okay, not to worry, okay, those of you who don't understand what is PV, PV is basically for to calculate how much is your cash rebate. Each, each and every product has a PV value, so that's how we calculate our cash rebate as a member, okay, so for example, if you're a gold member, you have 20%, okay, so we take this PV, we time 20%, and then there's our cash rebate, okay, just to explain simply. All right, so let's go on to this fungus treatment. Okay, this fungus treatment was shared with me by Coach Mac as well. We see some of these case examples that we, of people we know. So what happened to this uh, person who's a user is that first, okay, she actually not realizing it. All she had was actually she was dropping hair. So she thinks that, oh, her scalp has issues with dropping hair. And then we realized that, you know, along the way, actually it's not just a dry scalp kind of issue. She actually has got fungus on her scalp. So at the start, instead of recommending, you know, one whole, using the whole set, we actually started her off with um, gels because we need to treat the fungus first. We started her off with the bubble mask with using our apple soap and use that to apply for about 10 minutes and then shampoo off. And that's it. You know, so we try not to introduce so many things because first thing first is you need to have the fungus to be treated first. So if you can see in the picture, the, the you know, the flaky like scabs thing that she see in the scalp, within three days doing this step safely just by bubble mask and shampoo, it actually soothes us a lot already. Mm. And you need that to happen first before you can subsequently, after the fungus, or then you can subsequently add the tonic itself. Correct, correct. Okay. Mm. And another important thing to add is basically when you are treating your hair problems, right? Um, a lot of us actually drop hairs because our, the temperature of our scalp is actually high. It's actually warm. So when your scalp is warm and further on, you add on hot water when you shower. It's going to make the condition worse. So what we suggest, this is taught by Coach Mag, right? What we suggest is bring down the temperature of your scalp first by showering your scalp in cold water. You can, you can shower your body in cold water, is fine, okay? But your scalp, especially if you want to save your hair, make sure you, 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 you shower with cold water, okay? The reason is because if you're, because we have so, many, so much blood vessels on our scalp, right? So imagine during a hot day, it's hot, okay? Then you go in the aircon room, it's cold. After you, you put in hot water again, the, the vessel is going to expand, contract, expand, contract. Okay, what happened? You will loosen your, you will loosen your follicles in the long run. Mm -hmm. And then from there, your, your hair will start to drop. Okay, that's actually one of the, uh, that's one of the reasons why some people actually drop hair. Okay? This is this very is common. This is one of the problems here in the Middle East. Because yes. most of the people, they air conditioning in the cars and shopping malls. Then after that, they go outside to the street. Then they go back home and it's a hot tour. This yeah. is the problem here in the East. Yeah, exactly. You see, yes. so like what Mohammed shared, this is a real problem. Right? A lot of people don't know or they don't care about the hair, that's fine. Okay, but people who care about the hair, make sure you you know you shower your scalp in cold water. Oh. Thanks, Mohammed, for the for the, the advice as well. <laughs> if you have friends who are like hey, like for me, I'm surrounded by a lot of friends who are flight attendants. 
especially for the male crew, uh, when they go to cold countries, and after a whole long 13, 14 hours flight, they landed in the cold country. First thing, step in the hotel room, wash hair. And what happens? Because outside very cold. First thing first, they always have the habit. Because it's so cold, you're not going to wash hair with, with, with cold water. So it's always hot water, which is why very commonly, right, you see a lot of the more senior crew losing hair very rapidly. A lot of them are quite balding in that sense, or even receiving really hairline. It's because I think the exposure of the closing and opening of the hair, <laughs> hair for the girls that is weakening, that's why they tend to lose hair more easily. That's right. Plus the air pressure on top, eh? Mm. Yeah, air pressure. <laughs> Okay, then we have another key. I don't, I don't consider this more like um, anything that is more like a, a required treatment in the sense it's not like um, alopecia or whatever, but it's more like um, losing hair because of bad hair treatment conditions and also generic, I suppose. Okay, and uh, this example is someone I'm personally very close to. I, I force him to use. Okay, so for him, he has this receding hairline. If you can see, Mm, we're probably looking at about three weeks of usage, but within, within three, three months, I think, from mid of early June to end July, almost two months. So within almost a month, we can start seeing, if you can see the, the little patch here, that's where, not very visible, but baby hair is starting to grow, okay? And then also the little bob patches and all, is starting to grow all the baby spot, baby, very fine baby hair. So, which means that over time use, I don't have a later picture after that, but over time use, yes, it does encourage, our products does encourage hair growth. So, what it does is um, the bubble mask with apple soap on a daily basis. Okay, shampoo, I think for men, very easy to wash hair every day. Maybe ladies wash after the days, you know, but men, for them, they wash every day. So, that's what he does with the um, shampoo. And then the treatment to use as two to three times, but faithfully every day massage the tonic into that particular spot here and also anywhere that is the body part because that's how the, 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 the scalp and is absorbing the nutrients. And yeah, we saw the, the, the wonderful effects of the growing, the new growth hair. Mm. Okay. And then of course, with our use of product, I guess when your follicles are strengthened, that's how your hair can continue to grow. Because if you notice, there may be some, some, um, commercial shampoos out there that can tell you hair growth. But if you don't take care of the follicles, if you don't try, you don't strengthen your follicle, what's gonna happen? Your fine hair continue to grow. That follicle does not support the full weight of the newly grown hair that is growing longer. What happens? It continues to drop. Mm. So you may still grow new hair, yes. The shampoo helps you grow new hair. The treatment and the tonic helps you grow new hair. But if your follicles are weak, okay, compared to other changes, if follicles are weak, that hair growth cannot be sustained. So scalp care is also very important. Okay. And maybe Darren can share more what is his daily routine like, you know, because we only talk about the shampoo, the treatment and the uh, tonic, and then of course the bubble mask. Introducing, if we can also use ampules to actually optimize the results. How we go about, maybe Darren can share with us more as a user. Definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I'm the best person to share. Yes. <laughs> This is my five-step treatment every day, okay? Of course, some of the products I don't use every day right now, okay? But the product which I use every day is basically a bubble mask, okay? This bubble mask is how you need to um, do the bubble mask. You need to get this auto soap, of course, okay? You get this auto soap and then you use a mesh net or a foam maker to actually create this bubble. And then you apply it. Okay, later I'll show you the video. Uh, then you apply it on your scalp and leave it on for maybe one to two minutes, okay? What's the reason that I do this is... Very simple, is to deep cleanse. Deep cleanse your scalp. Just like what Coach Ivy said, right? Taking care of your follicle, your scalp, is actually the number one, the most important thing, okay? Because if you don't take care of your scalp, there's no way the nutrients can, can be absorbed into your scalp, okay? No matter how much tonic you pump, you can pour the whole bottle, the nutrients will not go in at all, okay? Your hair will continue to drop. So number one to me is to deep cleanse your scalp using the soap, okay? For those of you who don't have soap, Okay, Coach Mac says to me just now, you can use the shampoo to lather it into a foam and then put it onto your, your scalp and leave it on for one to two minutes as, as well. Okay, so that is my second step. After I use the bubble mask from the Atto, uh, Atto soap, I will proceed on to the shampoo. Okay, because I've already lathered um, and put the bubble mask for one to two minutes, my shampoo, I shampoo it daily. I use it for, I put it on for less than a minute, maybe one minute max, the shampoo. Okay, this is to reintroduce uh, the, the, the nutrients back into the scalp, okay? And then my third step would be the treatment, which I use twice a week. 
Okay, treatment. Okay, this is not a conditional. I repeat that a conditional you cannot touch the scalp. Okay, but for the treatment, okay, you can actually apply it onto your scalp and to your 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 hair. That's why you call it a treatment. Okay, so um, you put it for around one minute onto your scalp and your hair. Leave it on and then you wash it off. This is not a leave on. Okay, I use it twice a week for ladies. You can use it more if you have long hair, super thick hair like Grace. You can use it uh, more times a week. Okay, so my fourth. Um, step is actually to use the tonic, my favorite product. Okay, so what happened is um, after washing off your treatment, your shampoo, your bubble mask, everything, you need to towel dry your hair. Make sure your scalp is dry before you put on the tonic. You do not need to blow dry your hair, everything, no need. Okay, you just need to towel dry, make sure your scalp is dry, and then you apply the tonic. Open, split open your hair and then apply it at the affected area. Take note that this tonic is extremely oily. Okay, so one uh, one word of advice is if you don't if you don't wash your hair, you don't wash. I know some some ladies don't wash hair because they like my wife. Uh, sometimes maybe one day, two two days, then wash one time. Okay, if you never wash your hair, do not apply the tonic. Okay, it's gonna make it's gonna make matters worse. Okay, make sure that your scalp is clean, then you apply the tonic. Okay, for me, I use it twice a week. Um, tonic, I don't suggest you to use it every day because it's extremely oily, okay? So, um, use it before you go to sleep. That's what I do. I use it before I go to sleep, okay? So, my last step will be the, our magical product, which is the MPOs, which contains the 5% protein extract. So, if you realize the steps is like that, step one, step two, step three, 1%, 1%, 1%, step four, 3%, step five, 5%, okay? My step is basically to make sure Make sure that the scalp is clean so that it's able to absorb, 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 absorb the nutrients. Okay, so for those of you who don't have the M pills, um, you can try the M pills. That's our star products, our award winning product from Monday Selection Award. We have two types of M pills one is the red M pill, one is the green M pill, right? So, which M pill do I use? For scalp, I use green. I use green M pill. Okay, people who want to grow hair, use green M pill. Use green M pill. All right. Okay, so far, any questions about this five step? So when I retail online, what I do is, uh, how do I actually advise people who wants to buy this hair series? Some of them may say, wow, it's very expensive. If you add all these products together, some of them may feel that it's pretty pricey, right? So what I actually propose is, I will propose a soap, minimally a soap, a shampoo, and a treatment. These three steps will suffice for them to have effects on their scalp. Okay, and then, um, after that, you can actually follow up with them and, and tell them that, you know, uh, you can actually try the tonic and, and, and then the end pills, okay? Because sometimes you, when you sell a five-step product, right, it's very hard for them to, to actually familiarize what are the steps. It's very confusing, okay? So, but we have proven that one, two, three is enough to get great results, all right? Okay, so now let's take a look at this bubble mask. How to create the bubble mask using this auto soap? Okay, we didn't cover the auto soap, but this is just for you guys to actually, uh, for your information. There is no sound, so just, uh, just see. So he, so this is done in a salon. They will actually use a shredder. You can see there's a bubble foam maker. You see, the way they do it is actually more hygienic. You stretch, 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 put a little bit of soap and then add water into the video. Just a little bit of water and then they will just start pumping, okay? To personally, the foam maker produces uh, more dense foam, which is better uh, to be applied on actually, as compared to the mesh, the mesh net, okay? So a lot of salons in uh, Malaysia and Singapore actually uses this auto soap to deep cleanse as the first step of the hair care series, you see? So this is how the professionals do in, in, the, in the salons. This guy has a lot of hair, la. so um, basically it's for maintenance, of course. So for those of you who have less hair, right, um, it's easy to apply on. La. I guess it's good to also, because this helps to detox the scalp. That's right. That allows, if then you not, don't have all the clots and the blockages to absorb the nutrients that's coming next from the shampoo and the treatment. Correct. Mm. So take note, la, for this auto soap foam, right, apply on the scalp. La. This one don't apply on the hair. 
it's not, not going to help the hair. It's going to help your skin. Okay? Your scalp is also your skin. Okay? If you take care of your scalp, your face will not sag. This is the truth. Okay? Coach Mike always says, if your scalp starts to sag and start to loosen the follicle, your face will also start to sag. Because it's all connected. Alright? So, yeah. So, this is the video. Alright? For those of you who don't know how to do the bubble mask. Okay, any questions so far on the hair care series? Before we move on to the BB cream and sun cream, today's going to be a shorter session. Um, yeah, any more questions about, about retailing? Any, any hair problems, scalp problems that you face or, you know, customer asks you, you know, feel free to ask right now. If not, we'll... Uh, yeah, Mohamed? I'm sorry, but just, just I have a question right now. Sure. Because um, here in Middle East, uh, most of the people, I'm talking about guys right now, about men. Yeah. Uh, they don't care much about hair, but they care about beards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, this one, uh, they can use it for beards as well because uh, I don't know if you are following uh, Middle East in that point or not. Uh, we have a lot of oils nowadays imported from uh, different countries, okay. especially for beards. Mm. Because, um, yeah, you can find that men they don't wash hair every every day but for beards they care about beards every day well this is a new culture that i heard okay so what oh, yeah, of, course, yes. <laughs> okay. of course it's new culture for you but i'm talking about a uh, majority here in middle east ah, okay. Okay. Care about beards so much even we have uh, some oils especially for beards mm. just like 100 uh, mm that's one for beards after you wash just you put it over uh, to make it more stronger and heavier oh yeah that's the point that's why i'm asking you about this point especially yeah oh. if you look if you look here my hair yeah. yes that's one here uh they don't care much about hair about what about beard okay. ladies 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 i don't know if you know the of course you know the uh, majority here they cover the hair hmm. that's one work with them as well or not yes definitely definitely in fact, uh, one of our ideas is to actually work with uh, some of the uh, uh, hipster barber shops, right? Because our product can, can, be, can be applied onto the beard as well. But of course, uh, you know, there is a saying, I mean, this is what, because my wife is a, is a doctor, right? So she did actually share that people with beard, uh, they, don't yeah, hair on the beard. they don't lose hair on the beard, do they? Maybe you can you what? They don't lose, they don't lose beard. So what is the objective of uh, using this shampoo? Is it just to keep it manageable? He's muted. Sorry. Uh, hang on, uh, hang on. Uh. Mohamed, can you unmute yourself? Yeah. Could you, okay. could you, could you repeat your question, please? Of course. So, uh, as you said, they don't lose hair on the beard. But the point is, some of them, they don't have much hair on the beard. Oh, so the question is whether can we use this to grow hair? Is it? To grow hair on the face, yes. yes on the face. Well, um, this is basically genetics, okay? So, like me, I've actually tried. I tried, okay? So, if genetically I don't have beard... I want to... I want to... I want to... Okay, sorry, moment. Okay, so basically, it's beard is genetics, right? So, mm. if, if I use this product, I will not be able to grow any beard. But if this person, if this person already has a lot of beard and he wants to maintain it, of course, we can use this product to use it. But just to grow beard, it's it. it I, I cannot guarantee anything for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So also got a technology. The, the second question, the second question about ladies with the scarf and all this stuff, because they cover the hair all the day, uh, during the, 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 the hot days and yeah, cold yeah. days. So uh, this one can affect on the hair. You know yeah. how many products here? Let's talk about Egypt. You know how many products they have here in, in oh, Egypt about shampoo and all this stuff. Uh, if we talk about the cosmetic shops, we have a lot of them here. So yeah. how, how we can uh, uh, compete between our uh, products and the other products? 
Okay. So basically, the first the first technology that differentiates us from the other hair care products is basically the human stem cell protein extract. Okay. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah. yeah. So when we talk about when we talk about uh, you know promoting and marketing our products to people who wants to know what is our USP. Firstly, they need to understand, right? We have growth factors, 130 growth factors, which is human proteins that will actually help to reactivate and regenerate the collagen, regenerate all the skin cells, regenerate your new skin cells. That is our selling point, you see. But for hair, very simple. For hair, we're talking about follicles, okay? Depending on how active the follicles of this person is, okay, it will still con it will grow. If the more active the follicle, the chances of growing the hair is higher. Okay, but our USP is basically the human stem cell protein extract and we use 130 growth factors from young Koreans, young human Koreans, 20 years old to 40 years old. Okay, so that is our selling point, 130 proteins. So if you talk about the ingredients, there's, you know, in the market, like you said, there's a lot of hair products with great ingredients. Everybody's talking about the same ingredients. But talk about the USB, talk about the human stem cell protein extract. It's an award winning product. Okay, moment. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, good. Thanks for the question. Okay, Justin has another question. Other than hair loss, does this for you hair hair series help in hair growing? Unfortunately, no. Okay, I suggest you go to Watson and maybe buy a hair dye. <laughs> we are unable to uh, maybe in future we will be coming up with a product, okay? Maybe using a stem cell technology, but right now this product does not help to make your hair black, okay? Hope that answers your question, Justin. Okay, moving on. Any more questions before we move on? Okay, let's go. Okay, Coach V, time okay. for you. So now we go to our more of the skin part, uh, which is the perfect sun cream. And this is part of your other than your daily skincare or something I would say do not do without. Right? I'm guilty of that. I never really quite believe in I rather believe I'm just lazy. Like I don't really use sun sunblock all the time. I rather never. I kind of like rely on whatever loose powder foundation that claim to have SPF. But our as our sun cream itself, okay. Okay, what, what what's so different? Because if you all oh, no no, every day, even if you don't directly go under the sun. Okay, even if you do not walk in the sun or go out when it's sunny, there's always free radicals in the environment. All these UVAs and UVBs rays. All these UV rays are actually one of the main reasons why we have premature wrinkles. One of the main reasons why your skin cells get damaged and over time the cumulative exposure to the sun. Okay, all these UV rays are very powerful. Huh? Okay. So over, like, over time, to be honest, overexposure of sun may also cause skin cancer. Right? What we want to do is to ensure that we are always well protected. Okay, the UV Cell Perfect Sun Cream contains SPF 50 that naturally protects the UVA and the UVB rays okay, to, to protect our skin against oh. sun. The, the ingredients itself, like we'll say, it contains uh, one of the ingredients is a uh, propolis extract. This has also, other than just blocking out sun rays, it also provides good nutrients to our skin to keep it bright and radiant and vibrant. It has, um, one good thing I like about this sun cream is that it does not, what I didn't like previously about using any sun cream outside, you know, is because I always feel that it makes my face very heavy. It becomes like by the time you add on, you want to add on the rest of your products, your foundation and all, you realize that the, the, the first layer you put on, you already feel the weight. Whereas for this uh, perfect sun cream, it's actually very light in texture. So you don't have the, the heavy weightage, you don't have, you, you actually find it very refreshing. In fact, it's not sticky, it's also light. So it, but the moment you apply, you know that it's being absorbed rather than you need to you know, keep rubbing and then you still feel the thickness into your skin. Okay? And um, because this is also light, you don't have that irritate, uh, irritating feeling. It's actually a very low irritant formula. So the skin actually balances the, the oil, it balances the oil and water in our skin. All right, it balances the oil and water in our skin at least throughout the day when you're outside. You do not feel the stickiness even after being exposed or even after you perspire, which I think a lot, a lot of the sun, sun block sun cream that we use outside, you see even for those that use our bodies, very different from the ones that use on our face, but this one is definitely very light. 
Okay, it also contains aloe vera. So with, with the aloe vera component itself, it keeps the skin refreshed. It's actually from the it's actually more like the lotus. I would say lotus leaf extract rather than, than, than sorry than the aloe the, the aloe vera extract from it itself because it's got this um light refreshed um um right refreshed outcome to to your skin in the sense that it prevents also your skin from exposure. It's like a protective layer, a light protective layer to the skin. Okay, so. At least you don't feel the, I would say this one, you don't feel the burden on the face. So I think those who have tried, I think you will know it is actually quite enjoyable to use. Yeah, so for people like me, I actually continue using already, even though I never quite believe in a sun cream. Yeah, totally. yeah. <laughs> for ladies who are really, really worried about the pigmentation, like what Coach Ivy says, right? Sun cream, it's considered a, it's not a skin care. Sun cream is basically a skin protection. Mm. Okay, it, It's not considered a skin care series but our ruby cell series sun cream is considered a protection plus skin care series because it contains also like i said the human stem cell protein extract and some of the other ingredients that actually help to repair our skin as well okay which products in the market actually have that okay most of the product in the market just basically just put a layer of coating on your face to prevent the sun rays from going in okay but ours work differently we have a dual benefit which is to protect your protect from sun rays as well as to repair the skin at the same time. Okay, uh, I, I like this product a lot. Um, basically, it, um, yeah, uh, I, yeah, just for me to share, right, this sun cream has a glittery effect, a little bit of glittery effect, which I kind of like, lah, you know. Maybe, especially, I think the ladies will like it a lot. It has a little bit of glitter. Like yeah. A little bit of shine, a glitter, yeah, under the sun. Okay, just to take note. All right. So I guess for those even like, let's say you don't want to put makeup, even that little sheen somehow will actually make you feel that, that radiance, you know, because it's, it's like you, you apply radiance, that, is that, 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 that glowy feel as well. Okay? Yeah. yeah. So at the same time, I think I guess with that little bit of, it keeps your skin protected and moisture, your moisture gets retained as well. So along the way, I think for a use, especially if you're going to be out the whole day, it's actually very good. Right. So, okay. Oman, maybe you can uh, consider bringing this to, to Egypt as well. This sun cream for you, perfect sun cream. Okay. Okay, then. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, about sun cream, um, here in, in, uh, in Egypt, as I know so far, mm. uh, this one can use during the summertime, especially the summertime, because many people, uh, when they travel, especially to the seaside, yeah. they start to use the sun cream. Not only ladies, everybody, men, ladies, uh, uh, children, everyone, because it's too hot here, especially with the, with the salt of the sea. So, um, yeah, and let's say mm, percentage of selling sun cream here in the summer, it's very high because of the sea. Okay. And effective on the, on the skin and all this stuff. Yep. Uh, during, during the winter time, they don't use it much. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's say the season of selling sun cream here in Egypt maximum four months a year mm, okay great mama just let you know so we also have the sun stick all right uh i don't have the picture right now so if we have two uh we have two sku one is this in tube form in a cream form a lotion form and the other one is the stick where you can just roll on but i personally prefer the uh the lotion one i think the coverage i think to me is better and it feels better as well okay great Thanks, Mohamed, for the, uh, the comment. Thank you. Okay, so for those of you who wants to have the stick, okay, in Malaysia, you need to special request with me. Okay, those of you in Singapore, um, I think Singapore, we have the sun stick. Uh, Malaysia, if not, you can actually uh, request, drop a request with us, okay, and we will bring in, we will try to bring in for you guys. Okay, but I personally prefer the, the sun cream, the, the cream base. Okay, Audrey says she has a friend who uses a sun sunscreen and feedback that her face each after applying. Yes, I actually have this thing also. Okay. Sunblock, not the stick. Huh? Yeah, yeah, correct. And same thing. I use this because every day I will use a sun cream. So what happens is the first few minutes, I will feel that it actually kind of like has a little bit of prickly feeling. That's actually okay. I feel that is okay. After that, it's, it's fine. Does she has a, a side effect, Audrey? After that, her face became red or, you know, Became swollen or anything? <clears throat> what, 
Okay, so I think Coach Mac answered the question. Yeah. Okay, Coach Mac said maybe this person is using too much. Cut down on the dosage. Okay, and also say um, just apply by tapping. Okay, no need to call like that. No need to use too much. Okay, you tap it, tap it, tap it. All right. Okay, so let's move on to the BB cream. This one, okay, let's talk about the price first. Okay, I think uh, this one same thing also in Malaysia and in Singapore is also being packaged very differently. Uh. In Singapore, we package it into four small little tubes. So I think it's also for easy portability. Okay, content wise, of course, a bit different because when you do it in four small little tubes, it's 15 ml each. So times four, so total for that price you're paying, you're getting a total of 60 ml. And for one whole set as a member, you're getting it at 63 Singapore dollars, 170 ringgit. Okay, as member, and then retail at 83 and 220. Yep. Okay, the PP is 24,000. So in Singapore, I guess some people may say like, you know, if nothing is stopping you, I mean, if you really have like, you've got one set, which is like the four bottles, and if you feel like there are people who may want to try, which may encourage to try a little bit, you know, after they try, they like it, they're going to like it, they can buy more, you can always, I guess, speed it up. Yeah. So let's say you pay 64, so that average out to be, let's say, 16. So at retail price, if you're not going to sell it at 83 sing dollars in that sense, maybe that works out to be $20.75, for example, per small little 15 ml. Maybe you can try selling like what, 25, 25? I mean, a certain, of course, when you buy loose, it's definitely going to be more expensive. You want to price it at 22, 25 sing dollars, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Just to let people have a try at how this actually works for them. That's right. That's okay? right. That's a very good mm -hmm. idea, actually. Uh, yeah. or, or sometimes even if you sell a bigger set and you think that it's worthwhile to Personally, I don't know how you want to do your promotion to sell as an as a, a free gift you want to throw in, it's also fine. Because yeah, your, your cost is $16. So it has to be a set that's so far for you to want to give a free gift of this value. Like okay? what he says uh, you need to be creative in a way that you do retail business online. If everybody's gonna sell the same thing, then how are you gonna differentiate yourself selling online? Right? So mm -hmm. be creative about it. Okay. So let's talk about the uh, BB cream. Okay, the BB Sorry. cream. I have uh, no experience, okay? it will be very weird if I'm uh, telling people how to use BB cream. <laughs> so this will be done by good <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. It's just like, you know, I, I don't have a lot of experience in my hair except for the people who are using. Okay. So, same thing, our BB cream is also very light. What I like about it is, before that I didn't use it, so I say it takes someone who have used it to actually share with you, okay, because of the natural ingredients we have. This is light in texture and very breathable. I say, I think if we, if you're one person, like, I mean, now a lot of us work from home, so we, we don't have about, we probably don't put a lot of makeup as what we used to. At home, basically, we don't need full makeup. But if your natural oil requires you to, to doll out and, you know, full makeup every day, I, I think it's very tiring for the skin as well. You have to put layer from your sun cream, then to your BB cream, then to add, you know, concealer to, you know, a lot of items that you can add. So this is one of the light texture and very breathable uh, BB cream that we have compared to the ones outside and it has a very high coverage okay, to the extent that I think if you have like mild, even mild pigmentation or sometimes even certain dark eye ring, our BB cream actually provides a very good, good coverage. It's refreshing, not sticky, but it provides very good coverage to actually help you to cover certain things that you know, like sometimes you have that small little pores, little pimple scars or you have some little small pigmentation, it helps. So even certain days you don't sleep well enough, you have dark eye rings, just very random one, not the, the, the ones that are always dark eye rings. It helps to hide. So it, it helps to correct a little bit on the, this, the, the imbalance in your, your skin color as well. We have, um, actually we have royal jelly extract in, in our BB cream. Okay, so royal jelly extract I think is also quite common in a, a lot of other skincare products or even used as a, like some take it orally as consumption because royal jelly extract contains the natural vitamins and minerals. So it helps to increase even the collagen production. Imagine using, that's why you say dual use, you are actually using more BB cream. Why? Because you, you want that coverage, that kind of thing. But at the same time, it helps you while you're wearing it throughout the day with your makeup, it helps you to increase collagen production. Okay, our BB cream is suitable for all skin types, even inclusive combi oily skin or even acne prone skin. So as a coverage, yes, and in terms of even skin tones, like sometimes I think if you see cosmetics may have different types of BB cream for different types of skin tone. 
this one fits and lasts for all natural, it, it gives the all natural kind of seam. So it's very natural look. Okay, of course, if those who want can even use BB cream and add on to their after cream together. Okay, you can actually put add together and then mix them. So if you want to make it a bit more simply, put your sun cream, your BB cream, your auto cream, put everything together, apply as one whole layer. That is doable as well. That gives you a very natural look as well. Okay, it has the nutrients for the healthy skin and also helps to keep you see, because you have your moisture inside, right? You have your auto cream inside. All together, if you use it, it actually helps you to retain your skin hydration. Okay, it has a soft, very soft finishing, and it's also very long lasting. Because when you use it even on its own, it gets, it adheres to the skin very easily. It's not like you have to keep rubbing in for it. You know, like some BB cream, you realize that you have to keep rubbing in so that it totally blends off with the rest of the skin. This one doesn't, okay? So to achieve that natural look, yes, either you use it on its own, okay, or you can mix all together with your BB cream, your auto cream, and your sun cream. Slowly use your fingers to tap it in, okay? Light, light finger weightage to just tap, lightly tap it in. That will be fine. Okay, it also has an aloe vera extract. Okay? Aloe vera extract, and say, it helps to maintain your, your skin glow. It improves your skin texture. And also it has a little bit of the firming Firmness, create the firmness without any um, side effects. The aloe also helps to reduce uh, any skin irritation and inflammation. So like with hot weather, sometimes you tend to feel a bit, you know, like the kind of flush feelings and all. DB cream, if you use it together, like what we say, put it together, even on its own, it actually helps you to soothe your skin and prevent any form of like heat, heat irritation or any inflammation. Okay, it also has a um, lotus leaf extract. Okay, lotus leaf extract, as we said earlier, it helps to um, control the sebum production. It balances out any oily skin. That's why we say that it suits oily skin as well because it balances and hydrates the, the, the water and the oil level in your skin. It balances out and it hydrates and improves your skin elasticity. Okay, and um, on its own, even for lotus leaf extract in our BB cream, it is a powerful antioxidant. It has got uh, flavonoid properties. This helps actually maximize our skin's own ability to prevent the aging process and to help and energize the skin as well as also to, to detox and energize, the, the energizing effect. That's how you actually obtain the radiance and that glow along the way as you use it. Okay? Great. This. This is something that I like as well. Yeah. So my don't minus the steps. It's so actually BB very good to use. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you know, BB cream also has our you know the strong UV protection SPF fifty PA plus 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 plus. Okay. So this also can be um, as a sun sunscreen as well. Okay. Yes, yeah, sunscreen properties as well. All right. So let's take a look at the price. Same thing. I think we look at it in the same way as well. The price is actually the same. Okay, your sun cream and your BB cream. The retail price for mem uh, the retail price and the member price the same 64, 64 and 83 in Sing dollars. And then for retailing, um, retailing will be 170 ringgit and 220 ringgit. Mm. Okay, the PB is also the same as your sun cream. Okay, well, of course, packaging wise, different. Singapore, again, we do it in the small little containers, four times 15 ml. Whereas if you get, I mean, I personally, I like the Malaysia packaging, it looks very glam. <laughs> Malaysia. Uh, right now, I think it's also in the, the four, four. In the smaller one. Yeah. But, huh. yeah. Once we finish the stock, the next MOP will be in the, the, the original packaging. Mm, okay. Yeah. So come festive season, I guess it's good when you have it in small because now it's already September. Moving forward, how you can do all this when it comes to smaller packages, how you can actually package it to, to do as small little Christmas gift packs and all. Mm. Okay? Great. Okay. So far, any questions on the BB cream? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Any any more questions on BB cream? Okay. No. No questions. Then let's, let's go on. Next slide. Okay. So this was something that I think um this didn't come from me. I, I think I learned it too. If some of you have attended um uh, the makeup our makeup artist uh Benji Wee's um class um some time back about a month back. So this is something I learned and I actually practice and try it out myself which i feel is really really good is how you want to prepare your skin okay with our products to use concurrently okay is to those who have airbrush and i try the ampules is to use the airbrush ampule to prime your skin first okay like like for myself what i do is i'll actually use the ampules on my face to brush one round first okay to airbrush one round i just use one pump 
Okay, that gives already achieved the glowy skin effect. Then after that, you apply your sun cream because sun cream is cannot do without. It's easier to use sun cream now than to allow your skin to be exposed to all the damages from the UV rays and then to do damage repair. Mm. Okay. I have some of this damage repair. Luckily, it didn't appear on my face. It appears somewhere else, like on my arms. But when it comes to treating it, so prevention is better than cure. Never skip. Okay, while well, it's still not too late, never skip your sun cream. And then after your sun cream, then you can use your makeup. So that's where your BB cream can come in together. You know, if you want to use your BB cream and your after and your sun cream together, you can apply all three. If not, you just use your sun cream and then followed by your BB cream and then you put on the rest of your, your makeup and like your eyeshadows and all. And then after that, airbrush another round of the ampules. It kind of like give the whole makeup a finishing look and seals it up. And what I realized out of it is that your makeup oxidizes lesser. Or rather, it doesn't really oxidize because our, okay, in Singapore, in Malaysia, I think the weather pretty much the same. And I think during summer in Egypt, it's um, hot. And I think it gets humid as well. So what you want is to be able to retain the makeup without the makeup oxidizing. When the makeup oxidizes, you realize your eyeshadow color looks a bit different. Then your, your, your blusher also, the color seems to be like, looks more oil. It, it produces more oil. It don't get that matte feeling. So this is something that I thought was quite useful in how you want to use a step-by-step -step using your ampoule, your sun cream, BB cream, and then your normal makeup, and then seal it again with your ampoules that helps to keep your makeup last longer, fresher throughout the whole day. Great. Great. Um, are we going to do the, uh, the, the spray today? Uh, yes, everybody want to do the spray. Y'all want to try? Oh, because they're boring if. Today, I do. Okay, great. Um, I'll do the demo. Okay, remember just now I was talking about the hair. Um, I'm just going to go back to the hair, hair care uh, steps, okay? So the first is to use soap. After that, I use the shampoo. After that, I use treatment, right? Um, followed by tonic. And lastly, what I'll do is my last step will be using the, the airbrush and the ampules. Okay, this is actually my last step of my hair care. Okay, so this one, it's very important. Um, to me, it's one of the most important steps is because of the ampules, the, our star product. So right now, right, uh, we're going to show everybody within a short five minutes, right, how we, how we actually use the airbrush as well as the ampules, okay, on the face. Okay, then at the same time also, maybe we will ask uh, Coach Ivy to show how to spray on the scalp as well. It's a simple one. Okay, okay let's do it. You all want any, anybody's interested to do it together? Yeah. I, I think, do I think it's good because I think we have, Daryl, we have Coach Mac around and then, you know, we know that we're all doing it the right way. That's right. I think it's very important also because sometimes we tend to want to do it fast. Correct. So those of you who are please take out our airbrush and uh, we just go through the step like what we do every Sunday. Okay. Treat it as a session done today. All right. It's good also because when you practice and then you, you know when you have to show your friends, you want to be able to see the effects and you get it right once you, you practice and practice and practice and you get it right. It's, it's a lot easier to do a demonstration to people who have not seen it before, who have not used it before. You haven't seen me very much airbrushing because I'm also very shy. <laughs> There's nothing to be shy about. Yeah, I know. It took me a while. <laughs> okay, y'all got the airbrush? Yeah. Okay, so you can, you, you really test try, you can see once you start spraying, you can feel the air on your hand. Okay, so what we do is, um, if I turn around today, I'm see the better, okay? You have these two knots at the back of your neck. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to start spraying in a zigzag motion. Very slowly, you can go very close. I hope you can hear me, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so you do it in a zigzag left to right, starting from that two holes, slowly downwards. I'm just using air alone because what we, do, what we are doing is to use the airbrush to do the perfect drainage. Okay, any movement that's going to be down, you do this way, just going to go down the neck. Okay? Like for guys, even if you want to go it down this way towards the arms, okay, that's when your arms, under your armpits, that's not just so fine. Because that moves everything down, that is the drainage position. This can be in very, you can do it very close, close up is fine because there's nothing that you're spraying inside, okay? Close to the skin is okay. 
In very long, short strokes, short, short movements, slow movement is fine. Okay? I'll turn myself back, yeah? Okay. So now we want to do also the drainage in the front. I'm going just to do uh, half the face. Okay, I'm just going to do this half. Okay, so we do all the way. If you can see, there's this particular limb node. Okay, go behind your ear. Okay, and then you go downwards. For every um, lymphatic drainage movement, it's actually all downwards towards your limb node. Flush it away down. You can flush it way down to the center. You can also go this way up. Like for guys, you can also flush it. You're wearing slippers, but you can also flush it down to the arm, down this way. Okay. Very, very slowly and close downwards. Yeah, for demo purpose, we do slow, but I guess on a daily basis, some of you may find it like, Ayo, it seems to be taking a very long time. Right? You want to do it slow, downward movement for lymphatic drainage. By the time you finish one half the face, it's like 10 minutes. Alamak, we've got every day do half a face, okay? If you, as long as you are doing the correct, I would say, as long as you are doing the correct way, reaching the correct point here, Back towards the ear here, as close to your skin as possible while you do your lymphatic drainage and downwards, all actions downwards. Even if you have to do fast, it's fine. Okay? So now I do eye area. Eye area, you go around in a circle. Same thing to the same point. And then go all the way down. Bring it down to the middle again. Okay? You can do even for the same, you can do a few times. It's fine. Then you can do it in a U-shaped way, in the middle, same thing, bring it down. Right, for the forehead, okay, this way, here, to the middle, all the way down. I think some of you have done videos, you know that if you're going to do a video and show your customer how to do this video, it will probably last 5 minutes. And then your Instagram tell you that you can only do a five minute video or you know you may want to like speed it up or something. So it's okay to do fast, like I say, you have to do it towards the right. There's points here, there's points here, you make sure that you cover and have the airbrush down, right downwards. Okay, just by doing I didn't use anything. If I come closer. Yeah, it's very obvious. <laughs> and y'all see that that is okay, because I do it every day. In the morning I do it. Sometimes in the morning I if I wake up early, I'm gonna weekends. I can do morning and night. So like this morning, I've done it once already. So you have at least the elevated way of lifting this side versus this side untreated. Okay. Once you have done your your um, lymphatic drainage, then okay. Like for me, I'll use. I'm still using this one. Is the um, this one is the older version. Huh? I'm still using the old version. My last bottle already. <laughs> okay. This is the new version. Yeah, right. they're doing the new version. Okay, for me, like half, um, I'm trying to finish it so I can try the new one. So I use about, say, 8 to 10 pounds for one side of my face. Right? On days that, um, I would say, like, um, what coach my always tell us, I think you need to speak to your skin. Sometimes there are certain days you know that you haven't been sleeping well, you've been out a lot in the outside, and you feel that you need more moisture, use more. Okay, mm. your skin will tell you. So certain days I feel that if I put 10 pounds, you know more already, but I still feel a bit dry. It's okay to add more, okay? So same thing, you go, now, now if you want to do the lifting, you want to allow the hydration for more lifting, okay, you do all the upwards. That's now we did downwards, right? So now we do all the upwards. Upward movement is all for the lifting. Okay, for this one, you don't put so close. So this one, you have to put at least maybe, I would say, like for me, about this distance, which is 15, about 50 cm away. Mm. Okay, you want the particles to come off from our airbrush, that's fine. And not to worry, it's just fine enough at the distance. Okay, the smaller particles still goes into your skin. It goes into the deeper layers. So it works exactly the same for your hair scalp. This is, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to explain the hair process, okay? 
So right now, what Coach Ivy is doing is using the air, and then the right now she's using the for you mist. Okay, so for hair care, my fifth step it doesn't consist this mist at all. So what mm. directly after towel uh, after using a tonic, right? Or sometimes if I don't use tonic after towel dry the the scalp, I will proceed immediately with the green ampules. Okay, so you just have to put the ampules inside, and then you just spray close, close, close to your scalp. Okay, you need the pressure to be on the scalp. All right, so that is that is my step for for hair. So for hair, you just need the ampules. All right. If our face is just like you want to use the mist, followed by the ampules, or even if you don't use the mist, you go straight to the ampules is fine. But always keep it a distance. For ampules, you keep it even further, at least about twenty cm away. Yep. All right, because what happens is when you spray too close, there are people who may be too rich. Okay, it doesn't, it, it absorbs in too big a particle for the same spot. What happens is you may get outbreaks. Okay, so there's some people who don't use it correctly because they spray too close. For the same spot, there's too much of the ampules that goes to that same spot. Overreact, mm -hmm. right? So it has to be at least 20, I would say 20 cm. Yes. Because I was at fault that initially when I started, suddenly I found a spot. Yeah. Okay. And so from just now to now, can you see my eyebrow one high, one low? Yes. Yeah. So the same thing you repeat, like for hair, that's not like what Daryl is showing, right? Okay, like say I have long hair. We don't have like, we don't have a help. Maybe it's just you myself doing. So what I'll do is I'll put in the ampule. Okay. Brush it down. You can notice that because our skin and our scalp is actually the same, same piece, same piece of skin. It's still your skin. Okay. So even if you can go this way, all the way, Okay. You need to go closer. Like I say, you need the M the ampules to go in. You can feel the pressure. Then you split your hair up towards what's supposed to scalp. Yep. So for yeah, so, so for scalp, uh, it's always like I repeat again, uh the, it's always better to use the green ampules. Okay. Mm -hmm. Especially, especially if your scalp is not clean. If you use the red ampule, it's going to be too rich for the scalp. Okay, it might cause even more it cause even more pimples and problems like that. Okay, so always start for the scalp, use the green one. Okay. Okay. So everybody comfortable with your airbrush? Okay, after this, then of course you do add on with your ampule. Yep. You see the glow already, I can feel the lift and the glow. Liang liang the. Yep. Yeah, so the same so basically the ampules is also the same step, right? Uh, Ivy? Yes, yep. the ampule. Anything remember, for us, for those who have been using, anything that is for lifting, everything else is upwards. It's only the initial part that you have to go, go downwards. For lymphatic drainage, it's always downwards. Then for lifting, using your mist, your ampules, or even with, you know, sometimes even some people like use it on arms or on the sticks. Anything that you want to lift is always upwards. Okay? Okay, great. So, um, hope today you all learned something. This is a good sharing, or if you have anything to share, it's yeah. good. Any, any last questions before we will end the session? If not, Coach Ivy will, will share this. What is this? This one, uh, I never seen this before. Maybe Ivy, what does this mean? Okay. This applies to people like me every time I'm counting my eight because I'm starting to feel that I'm almost close to half a century old. So, of course, every day to console myself, I say eight is a number, it is just a number. When your skincare is on point, when you take care of your skin, I'm happy to say that after using Ruby Cell now, I tell people my age, I'm 45. Whether people try to patronize me or not, like, you know, we age beautifully, we may be that age, but our skin look way younger than that. And people start telling you that you are, you look 30 something. Yeah. So never mind about being older, never mind even if our skin along the way want to eat gracefully so as long as your skincare is on point you take care of your skin your skin can always look younger than your age that's right all right all right so thank thank you coach ivy today for, for your oh, thank you everyone hang on uh, uh we have one somebody is uh anybody has... uh, coach mike is it yep i want to share something 
yeah. Actually, Ruby sir, there's a side effect. I always tell my uh, when I when whenever I do presentation. So halfway I through the presentation, I will tell the audience. I say, Ruby sir, they ask me, uh, Ruby sir got side effect. No, I say, mm, to be honest, yes. So everybody shocked. I said, like me, age 40, uh, 47, but the side effect is everybody say I'm age 30, 38, 37, no? so who's here, no? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you get the joke, no? I always say, che. and I say, yeah, yeah that's, that's a good one. Everybody is, everybody is giving you the compliment, no? That make me very sian, no? Uh, there's a side effect, lah. Yeah, so go tell everybody your side effects is, is 10 years younger skin. That's about it, okay? Side <laughs> 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 effect or not? <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, for like, for us, uh, you, you see, for us, uh, I, want you, I want to add on one thing is, for us, like, um, recently, we are, I've been using for one and a half year. So if I quit from doing the, uh, for those who are beginner, they are doing the lymphatic drainage, like what IV teach is good. But for me, Darren, where we are already used one and a half year, um, the, the cell like two at the comfort zone already. So recently I changed a bit of my technique is, I keep on, uh, I still doing the lymphatic drainage, but I'm using the shooting weight. You know? Every every step at the jawline, I'm using the shooting way. Shoot every spot until the ear to the neck and keep on shooting like this. That is another way of doing lymphatic drainage. After shooting for about two, three lines, then you drag one big line. You get what I mean? Yeah. So you do short triggers. Yeah. At certain spots you do short triggers. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's say I want to target more of my lines here to create more lift here. I do spots. You can hear the spots. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah. You go a few round, a few round, then you do one drag. That's yes, what. You do yes. another few yes. round, you do another drag. Okay, this will give yeah. closer target spotted area for better, what I say is better drainage, better clearance. Right? Yeah. Okay? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Great. So, any more questions before we will end the session today? Our short session today. Um, if not, we thank you everybody for your time, especially our friends. Thank you. Um, and uh, and where? And Bulgaria, <laughs> a great international business. Okay. So, just to for everybody to take note, right? We have a product workshop every week. Okay. Next week, um, Ivy, are we doing something else? Yes. Yeah, we are doing something else which uh, we will share in our Lumia uh, group page, okay? So please take note of that. Okay, if not, we will see you again this Wednesday. I have an MASG again for those of you who want to understand more about the business marketing compensation plan. Okay, very important part for your business aspect. Okay, I'll be conducting um, 9 p.m. this Wednesday. Uh, oh, sorry, I will change, I have to change it to Thursday. Okay, I will update everybody because I'll be in Ipoh, okay, uh, for a business trip. So you'll be on Thursday this week. Okay, if not, I will see you next week again on a product workshop again on a different product. So thank you for attending and uh, thank, thank you. you. Have a great Sunday. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining Bye. us. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Anything else for me? Uh, 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 then after that, we didn't, I think previously was it, the ampule was done separately, but the time we did Atto, we did the ampules of Atto, then we did Atto, Ruby Cell Atto, to get, uh, Ruby Cell Ampule together. So we just saw it. Unless we want to repeat that again. 
，不然下个礼拜做什么？嗯 ，Okay, we 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 let's check with Coach Mike first.、Mm-hmm. Uh, we see what other、mm-hmm. products that we didn't cover. Let's see whether we can get it in time for another blue series, aqua series. Hmm. That one. If that we have that one, then we can have a short series of the the new Auto Gel. Right.、Mm-hmm. Okay. We the Auto the Aqua series not in yet, right? End September, right? End lah. End then. If not, let's do first. I think the no the the stock itself is coming in at September. Okay. Cynthia, oh Cynthia, man, Cynthia, 好像有 info 嘞。我要看她的 IG. We have the ingredient info. We have the ingredient info, but.、Uh, We have ha.、Huh? Importantly, we all need to try the product first, ah.、Huh? Oh, 对哈、哦、，Yeah. If not, is if not, it's very hard for us to you know to educate people. We can only share at most the ingredients, how to use,、mm-hmm. if there some guide. But other than that, we got no as no no user experience to share, lor.、Mm-hmm. Never mind. Uh, I will speak to. Let's speak to、yes. Mac. Then after we discuss from Mac. 好的。Okay. okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks for the time. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.